Hey, hey, kids, and welcome back to the studio. Uh, today, I've mostly been rehearsing drums for this Italian band that I'm recording with this weekend in Rome. And uh, I've had a hard time. I'm not even going to insult them by trying to pronounce the name because it's uh, extremely Italian. Like, it's like beyond Italian. It's so Italian it could be Spanish. Uh, and uh, so I took... Uh, I did like one of these. I'm trying to be more focused in this new studio. So I decided to do a one minute recording thing with the uh, uh, the Opium Cartel stuff. And what I've uh, yesterday I tried to do like all the acoustic stuff. So I started off by recording a uh, one of these soft shakers. And that sounded nice. But then at the end section I thought that maybe it needs a bit more of a lift. So as I was rehearsing in here on on my drum kit, which made me also very happy because I realized that I can actually fit a a full drum kit in here without it being like too crazy. And uh and I recorded the same rhythm that's on the drum machine, I think. I thought I could show you. I thought I could show you, but I apparently can't. And it sounds like this. With a bit of luck. So you've got the acoustic drum and the loop. And the other loop. And the drums sound okay, but I just took the uh, this wonderful. Kabasa mic. This is the uh, a uh, microphone specifically designed for kabasas and soft shakers to make them even softer and more kabasa e a. So I uh, to get my uh, DBX 163X compressor, which is just as smart as I like it to be. It's only got like two two settings, like very very compressed and not as compressed and then a volume and then before the compressor i put a uh one of these really old i guess it's almost vintage now the sandlamp gt2 which is a uh, amplifier simulator for guitar and it sounds horrible on guitar it sounds great on everything else sounds good on vocals sounds good on drums and, and stuff and, and keyboards and synths and all of that but horrible on guitar. So this is what the uh, the treated version sounds like. If I can get this right. Now let's see now. So we have the, uh, we can do maybe even do a little fadey thing. Yeah. And then we'll take the sorted out, the, the, uh, the fixed version. <laughs> Add the loop. almost uh, industrial big clangy metally object going on and it felt, I don't think it had to be loud in the final mix it just had to be then give this like gritty uh, gritty atmosphere behind the drums and uh, if Jacob doesn't like that he can always use the clean drums and make them nice and cuddly but I know Jacob he will go for the distorted happy ones so there you go. Um, yeah, it's fun to be here now. It's a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. If you are watching, if you're not watching, well, you didn't see this. And then I don't. What? Yeah, cool.